Welcome back everybody, this is Lizmer9300 speaking, I hope all of y'all enjoyed the previous video, I know I enjoyed making it for all of you, sorry I took that day off, so if you were in my Discord you would know why, um, hold up, hold up, I was off because of, um, I was uh, cleaning the house everywhere, so, let's jump right into this one, not that many episodes ago, I, um, we got to Inazuma. Oh, yes, we are currently on the missions of, uh, what you call it? Um, the Geo Guy. The Geo Guy. Rex Lapis. Rex Lapis's missions. Yeah, I forgot his name. Oh, no. Uh,. I totally did not forget his name. Totally. Totally did not forget his name. Um, I forgot his name. I'm not. I'm gonna be honest. I forgot his name. Uh. Um. Let's see. Zhongli. We're currently on Zhongli's um, missions. And we shall do like, more side-ish quest missions this episode. Because we have like... I don't know how long I'll be doing this. But I, uh, I'm not going anywhere tomorrow. So... Who knows? It can be a long one or a short one. So yeah. Um, oh yes, I stopped on top of a tree, we were looking for things. Um, um, yes, some things. Things have happened. Yes, I believe. One minute, and it's been the safe show, and she fixed compensation. Yep. Play more. What's this? Delicious rainbow ester. The person. Oh, gliding consumption. Okay. Is it Kokomi's birthday? Wait a minute. Take the water, Kokomi. Wait up, let me check. Uh, character archive. By the way, I am blind. So... I'm getting my glasses fixed. So I might not be able to see that character. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Wait, is they not a playable character? Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, I know this guy's good, but I wouldn't play him. I had Yamiko on my old, old account, although this thing here could be good, because that crit damage and base attack, and it's a legendary. I want that for my main character, this person here. She has this, she has attack. Attack is better. Oh, wait, I need to enhance this. How do I enhance this? You. Not available yet. Yeah, it's tomorrow then. Ah, uh, okay. So. 
I shouldn't be that distracted with stream, by the way. I should be a lot less distracted. I'm going to rent high above your wall, she would own hell. I want you to do this quest as well. Oh my gosh, there are so many quests. Albedo, Al, Mion. Hold up. And let me complete. Let me first go around. Let me. Let me first buy stuff from this. From the places. I'll buy, buy stuff from the places. Then we shall do. Ah. Uh, Then we shall do dailies. After dailies and claiming everything, cooking food and stuff, we shall like. Oh, I can barely see. I should probably change. I am blind to what they said. Um. Don't I just need this? Don't I need this for you? I do. I can do it. Wait. Hold up, I want to upgrade my character. <laughs> I'll be just a moment. I know there's a teleport waypoint right here. Let me get to it. Hold up, we are going to defeat a boss real quick. Yeah, I need to add in the description of this thing here. I am blind, of course. Um, stream info. There yeah. they are. Then there's a chain. Um, they're that way. Oh! So, um, that way? No, I don't think so. I do think someone's dead. Why not do this, eh? Like, I want to sign my what this stuff delivered to, boss. mouse button for vibe to like switching characters. <laughs> um, Mm -hmm. 
Excuse me, what did I see? I saw like a load of buttons. Jordan Harley and not a least Harley. Let's hold. Out of confusion is what I have right now. So, so no go that way. I need to go further in the chasm quests, don't I? It's annoying. Oh, well, let's do that instead, eh? Um, bought it from there. No <laughs> other waste of time. Uh, you lost your glasses? Uh, yeah. Um, why? You my mod? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did, I did check it. I was just trying to figure out who you were because. Hi, Zero. Welcome. Um, yes, I did lose my glasses, and my eye, my left eye is an 8.5, my right eye is an 8. Minus, so... Uh, who is this? So, yeah. I'm playing very blind. I can barely see. So yay. Oh, I almost forgot to do something. Uh, I'm just going to do dictation. Hello and welcome. Yes, that is very high. Um, when, I, I can only see like two inches in front of me clearly. The rest of it is blurry. Peace prevails throughout the land and all things are made new. Make sure to read and this follow is an all the rules. Era for humanity. There we are. So yeah, I, I I can barely see. I remember the button layer. I remember the button layer. I can still do this. What should I try this time? I can still remember buttons, but <laughs> I can't see. Thank you for pinning that. Oh, you just can't hear it, but in my ears, I actually have turned on um the thing to be able to um hear what's happening. Your glasses lost or broke? I I, well, I can't find them. Can't find them. I'm, I am wearing my contacts, but these are all the contacts. So these just repair my vision by like five points. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't know what my vision is right now. Although I, I, I did at the start, start of the stream, I did my contacts. 
Now I don't. So I'm blind as hell. Although I do remember all my lasagna is and all that. It's like my main food source. Skyward. Um, I just lost them. I want to kill him before him. Get with me. Got him. Congratulations. Strong! Yeah! Got her! Skyward! I know every single time someone comments. <laughs> every single time someone comments, it says it out loud. Stand with me! It doesn't say the comment, it just said someone has commented very quietly. And I can't hear it. Wait! When did I get 24 followers? Ooh! That's amazing! What? That's... That's absolutely amazing! Thank you! A small step for Hiller Charles. Defeat eight Hiller Charles. Um... Well... I can do my side foot? Wait a minute, what do I gotta just do later? advantage that does. Oh, I don't know what advantage is that. So yeah, my movement will be a lot more sloppy. Oh, come on. So yeah, that's basically what's in turn. Being able to move, like, react faster. I know less vision doesn't... I necessarily mean less reaction time, it's just, I can't, like, process it with a lot. Plus, I haven't had my medicine. Skyward, scatter.
one minute. Yeah. Skyward. Scatter. I'm sorry. I need to get a few these other shells. Yeah. Skyward. Scatter. Seize the sky. <laughs> Mini happy return. <laughs> sorry, pal. I kind of didn't need to do that entire cycle. I just realized. It wasn't even a cycle either, it was just... Please, Paimon. That's because of that, um, the horror character girl, right? Um, in Hong Kong. Also, a good thing I can read Braille. With my keyboards and bio. Yeah, skyward. I've been learning to read Braille before. I've been. I'm expecting to go blind. Sure. Completely expecting. Huh. Huh. Bond is strong. So yeah, learning to read Braille and everything. Yeah. yeah, skyward. Got him. We, you got him. Yeah. 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 Yeah, always. I'm always using my glasses. I have to, I usually can't see. Well, I can't see now, but I don't. They're prescribed glasses, well, plus I'm colorblind. Well, not colorblind, blind? I can still see color. Just more like color switch. I need to, like, say that part because people get offended or annoyed when I say I'm colorblind, but still able to see color. So I'm more color switch than color line. To answer your question, yes, I am always using my glasses on a regular basis. I have one thing more to do. Oh. Hmm. Let's hope I'm able to cycle this boss. Uh, yeah, I believe. Um, yeah. So as I said before, I'm not exactly sure how long this stream is going to be. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully it's a longer stream because I really do want to do a longer stream. I haven't done one of the longer streams in a bit. And if I do longer streams, I can do more progress, it's more fun. Not entertaining for me. <laughs> Should probably put like the final one. Yeah. Skyward. Yay. Yeah. 
Also, during streaming, I wear glasses. They're also, I wear glasses and just, uh, I have two sets of glasses, blue light and non-blue light. Getting hit. Our bond is strong. Lightning terrified. Just you wait. Make way for the attack. Mighty mythical beast. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's kind of painful. What? Still in attacking range, so we shouldn't have a problem with him. Skyward, scatter! No! Okay, I did something stupid. Wait a minute, did I like not create? Yeah, so much of them. I thought this was revive. It was heal. I needed revive. Starfall. Hey. Do that again. I'm gonna hit the box hitting me. What? Please don't change. Please, 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 please. So quick. Starfall. Okay, knock down, knock down. Come on, pull down, pull down. That heats up. Me. Skyward, scatter. Stand with me. You know what?
You're not gonna be able to run through this? No, 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 no. Come on, run through that. No! You're charging at me. Great, sun's out. Oh, about time yeah, we had some dirty. It's been so muggy lately. Oh, Come on, Ryan. Come on. So what I thought this was was a um a revival one. I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. I have no revive things that cream, but that flies no. I mean, I can get a lot of it, but still. Lasagna. Add a ah. Thank you for Yep, yep, yep. I need to get the Ad Astra Abyssos. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Yep. Yes. And the boss planet killed you. Event complete the dish request in this. Ooh, that's a lot, though. I shall first complete. I shall first complete the leeway. I believe it is. The secrets of the mechanical arts are true. I shall actually put John Park Tilda to the first instead of yeah, this one. Found a con yeah. In a few seconds. I want to do the yeah, I want to do the chasm ones because I need to have more better stuff. Oh yes, that's flesh. Skyward. Two. Three. And tap. <laughs> this is the 
see that brings me to the top of the tree. Is it? It is. Yay. Hold up. I believe I got a luxurious chest last time I did this. Stuff. I take bird. Yeah, oh yes, it was a luxurious chest. I did believe I did see them. Watch. Ah, what trinkets have we here? Present them for one's perusal. Let me down from the spray. An immense tree. And there's so many mysterious looking crystals up there, too. Amazing. This ancient tree. Let's conduct separate investigations. I'll take that area. Perhaps you could survey this section. All right, then. Kunjun, can you see anything worth investigating? Well, there is this stone tablet here. Doesn't seem very interesting. Paimon's gonna look over there. Huh. It's worth a try, surely. Let me see. Oh. Uh. <sighs> this is... Hey, what's wrong? Just a bit lightheaded. It's past. Nothing to worry about. Not... <sighs> Not yet. Uh, whatever. Paimon's going to investigate over there. Why don't you... If you don't try, you won't know. Anyway, you'll be able to get a good look at our surroundings from up there. Uh, <sighs> oh. Um, uh, you think so? With a bad idea. Hmm? I'm on. Never mind. Wait a minute. Paimon can fly. <laughs> uh, all right, Paimon will go. You wait here. Paimon will. All of you, come here. Huh? Zhang Li's voice came from behind the tree. Did he find another clue? But how have you Quick, been, Zero? Let's go see. Maybe he found another miner. How do I nickname you, by the way? <laughs> How do I nickname? Uh, well, I got my friend about to die, which is how I'm viewing chat. <laughs> Zero, how do I um nickname you in Discord? Well, oh, in uh Twitch. <laughs> Yeah, skyward. This has been newly dug. It would appear our answer is up ahead. Is that a voice coming from the tunnel? <laughs> Someone else go first. Compose yourselves. I will lead us in. Hmm. There is an unusual presence emanating from inside the tunnel. Prepare yourselves. And tread lightly. Okay, sure thing, Zhongli. I guess I didn't tread lightly enough. Ooh. Huh? Huh? <gasps> this is... uh, the missing miners are here. <clears throat> well, what are they digging for? <clears throat> uh... <clears throat> 
I'm afraid that this whole tunnel is the fruit of their strenuous labor. Huh? That gate? Has it been there all along? Digging a tunnel to this ancient seal. Had they not been discovered, they would undoubtedly persevere until the gate. So that's the seal bears. I can't let go of this button until there's a screenshotable moment because then it will just hit the menu. Oh, what? This seal was made by the Lord of Gear. Uh, what type of monster is this? Morax, you arrive at my doorstep of your own volition. Excellent. Taking revenge for sealing me away will be all the easier. So, the little girl is your power incarnate. But if you recall, Ishtaha, this is not how we intended for events to transpire. Waste not your words. Your life is mine. <laughs> it's hard to like the left in the room. <laughs> what is snake trying climbing up my leg? I know it's never been fed or Stabilize! Fisher! Oh my god! Gather! Only did that much? Damn, 
and Zhang Li. Their shield is amazing. This one's not enough. You would forsake me again? If that is what you choose to believe, so be it. He who bears the weight of memory is destined to shoulder the burden of truth, as it ought to be. The enraged earth will not absolve you! Yes. You should call it by its name, Ejdaha. Fate. Fate? Fate? <laughs> 
So here lies the wisdom of the gods. Destroy all deemed redundant. Enlist tyrants to ravage the wilderness. No. You have forgotten. Hmm? That... that voice! Aestaha. Huh? Kunjun? Morax. It's been a while. You're... Ejdaha. The very same. During the battle, you imbued us with your power. <laughs> yes. It was all I could manage. Forgive me for concealing the truth, Traveler. There were things that only became clear to me upon reaching this tree. Allow me to elaborate. I am not Ejdaha the Whole, but a fragment. Heaven and Earth, Yin and Yang, opposing forces. You Come can consider in. the existence of me and the Ejdaha you see there that I the to be a reflection of such polarities. I know what we have. Uh, we oh. are a schism of the will. Hey, which the one's will unlock my door? Of Ejdaha. So, so there are two Ejdahas? No, it can't be. That's impossible. Yeah. It can be possible that when it is the possible. seal loosened, your power manifested in this world as a child. With this new identity, you were able to vent about the forces that suppressed you. But his rainbow listen, power doesn't know. Would they even care? That's when it occurred to you. The loosening of the seal constituted an opportunity to strike back. Kidnapping the miners was all in aid of digging to the entrance to the seal itself. Your plan was to launch an attack on both ends, from outside and within, thereby fully destroying the seal. The audacity! Are you insane? If you truly are a part of me, how is it you find yourself standing on the side of the betrayer? I was another power awakened with the loosening of the seal. Too weak to reincarnate, but strong enough to possess a human body. Mm -hmm. I was barely conscious. I couldn't remember who I was. Only the past would elicit a reaction from me. But my aim was clear. Find Morax and aid him in stopping you. I had sensed that something was amiss when you mentioned Dragonfall. Had your power been but a little stronger, I would have recognized you. Don't blame yourself. I have changed beyond all recognition. Only when I touched the stone tablet did I truly remember. It's been so long. A secret beyond all comprehension of youthful humanity and ancient dragonkind. Morax, do you want to tell the tale? Oh. Yes, come on. There would be no harm in it. The decision is yours. <laughs> you haven't changed. Then allow me. Ejdaha was once a friend and ally of the Geo Archon Morax with a lifespan far exceeding that of mankind. However, that which is derived of the Earth is no more or less than the Earth itself. The memories of rocks do not last long. Those memories that survive are rooted in powerful emotion. But as time passes, so these memories fade into obscurity. Erosion is the world's greatest destroyer of memories. Erosion ground Ejdaha's consciousness into oblivion. Slowly, he forgot the face of his old friend. 
and his memories of defending Liyue Harbor disintegrated. Ejdaha, now incomplete, became irascible, aggressive. What would you expect? It was humanity that attacked the ley lines that sustained me! This much is true, which is why you attacked the chasm. Why you waged war against Morax in the beginning, in order to open up new territory and increase production. The citizens of Liyue came to the mountains to mine. Overexploitation caused the ley lines to quake, which brought untold suffering to us. Erosion made us even more savage. <laughs> no matter how we struggled, we lost the ability to coexist with humanity. We lost all reason. Morax shared with us some of his power to prevent further erosion, but it was futile. Everything returns to dust. It is the natural order, an unstoppable force. And so, we became you. And from your will, I emerged. I am your final contract. Witness the promise between Ejdaha and Morax. You can hate me, but you cannot deny me. No! No! I am the remnants of Ejdaha's benevolence, the echo of a contract set in stone. I harbor a willingness to go further, a willingness to coexist peacefully with mankind. No, no! It is I, Ejdaha, forged of elemental crystal, bearer of the weight and memories of the Earth, older than the mountains and the oceans that decides. I will not swear allegiance to this insect. Oh, Morax is not an insect. <laughs> A lord over insects is nothing but an insect in turn. Hold up. You forgot yourself. Nobody held Morax in higher regard than you or I. That which you have forgotten, I hold here in my heart. If you are the memory of the Earth, then I am the memory of coexistence. Of coexistence with humanity. <laughs> That is why he could take control of a human. Because of the coexistence. All powers under heaven rise and fall of land and sea. A star appears within the wild. A sun ascends as bright as... Jade. Hmm. Strange. What... What is this feeling? And all this. You are spent, and I will soon disappear. Before I do, heed these words. In the wilderness, snow falls on a spring day. In an instant, it will melt. Even where it is fleeting and leaves no trace. Even where it will never fall again. No! That isn't true! I don't accept this as fate! Perhaps it isn't, but it remains an inevitable misfortune. Are you satisfied, Ishtaha? I had to make amends. Satisfaction had no part in it. So, Morax, you call yourself Zhang Li these days? I do. Well, I'm afraid old habits die hard. 
to me, your Morax. As you please. I never did forget your gift of sight. I hardly lifted a finger. Think nothing of it. <laughs> and yet, you could see. You wouldn't know the yearning of a blind dragon, searching for the sun. A pair of eyes, from Morax to Ejdar. This, I will remember this. I like this, actually. Your power is nearly spent. Ah, perceptive as always, my friend. Shall we get going, you and I? Surely the pressing matter is still that of the miners trapped outside the seal. Indeed. Hence the need to get going. To fix the damage left in your wake. Hmm. Straight down to business as always. Let's go. We need to go to this guy first. So there you are. My men and I found your clues and followed them straight here. We found Mao in a tent at the campsite unconscious. It seems he'll be okay. Sadly, we found no trace of the other three. Huh? Young Kun, what... what is... Nothing. Pay it no mind. Those three miners are over there. In that cave. Cave? What happened? They're exhausted, but not in danger. Don't worry. Uh, right. Well, thank you, all of you. I better go and see how they're doing. So you're taking them back to Liyue Harbor? That's right. Can I come with you? No problem. You rescued my men. I'll be happy to assist all of you in any way I can. I'll be back soon. I need to assess their condition. Kunjun, uh, uh, we should be calling you Ejdaha. You're coming back to Liyue Harbor too, right? Not I. Merely this body. Once I'm gone, the true owner will accompany the miners back to Liyue. Kunjun hails from a family of famous artisans. He too will be famous in time. It would be a shame for someone of his talent to go missing. You always did have a great admiration for blacksmiths. Curious how swords and daggers are blind, yet their creators see so much. Perhaps empathy is mankind's proudest achievement after all. Ejdaha, I am no longer the Geo Archon. I can sense it. Today I am just an ordinary citizen of Liu. Even you met such a fate. <sighs> Let's get the difficult part out of the way. I cannot guarantee that I won't be awoken a second time. No matter. If that day comes to pass, Liu must prepare itself to face you. And how will Liu fare without Rex Lapis? Even without a god above, this remains a nation of men. I was once their god. I ought to be here to witness their rise and fall. All life is shaped and then ground away by the endless flow of time. Yep. You were always the strongest among us. Yet, it would seem that even you have been eroded. That's unimportant. Fate is ordained by heaven. Even if our mission had already concluded, 
It would be cowardly not to strike out on the road of departure. You may live forever, doomed to a lonely existence. Yet, even this is temporary. When you reach the end of time, those people, those past and future relationships predetermined by fate, they will be waiting for you. I do not pretend to match your rhetoric when it comes to the subject of a life long lived. I fear that the life of an elemental being is longer than any in this world. Were it not so, you would have killed me long ago, and would not be having to face me again now. Then you'd be sad that it would happen. You've brought a smile to my face. When all is said and done, a reunion between old friends is an auspicious occasion. That day in the chasm. Did you hesitate? A heart of stone is a heart nonetheless. But I am the god of contracts, and was for a time a god of the people of Liyue. You chose justice, but did not forsake your kindness. You came to me not as an assassin, and so I was willingly sealed away. The movements of the Earth Dragon can tremble the earth and shake the heavens. With your abilities, even at my full strength, I struggled to confront you, let alone seal you away. Hence my inception. Do not forget that I was there with Liwa's founder. The face may have changed, but the content of the contract remains intact. Old friend, god of contracts, I hereby honor our agreement. <sighs> Thank you, Ishtaha. My life is nigh on eternal. I will go on with the infinite flow of time. And you, Morax. You too will live for many a day to come. <sighs> You're leaving? If it is fated, Morax, we will meet again. Bye bye. <laughs> Just one. For now. Yes. Don't be alarmed. He's only asleep. Whoa. That was so weird. It was like he suddenly became another person. In fact, we have yet to meet the real Kunjun. Uh, yeah, that is true. He was. Centuries may have passed since then. But events from a thousand years ago remain crystal clear in my mind. In our last tale, Rex Lapis was walking alone in the mountains. He heard a remote voice, unlike any other, coming from a crack in the earth. Most of the ancient Geo life forms that live below Liyue are blind, having not seen the sunlight for an age. The voice was sometimes sad and song-like. Other times it was loud and thunderous. The Lord of Geo searched here and there before finally unearthing a strange stone from the bedrock. That's how Ejdaha was. I answered his wish and took him above ground. The Lord of Geo took pity on the rock spirit and carved it into a magnificent work of craftsmanship, a vivid representation of a dragon. I bestowed him with a pair of eyes to see the world and came to an agreement with him. With his fingers, he made two eyes. Quicker than words could tell, lightning flashed and thunder roared and a living, breathing oh. dragon soared into the clouds. I agreed to let him live among the people above ground. But if the day ever came when he brought ruin to order, he would once again be sealed in the dark. The dragon accompanied the Lord of Geo, fighting campaigns alongside him in the four corners of the world. We have a saying to eulogize these events. 
The crash of a spear brought billowing dust. The mountains and waters made way at the sound. The sight of a dragon bestowed with a touch the promise of rainwater blessing the ground. Oh, I like that. I like that. I really, really like that. Shortly after, Uncle Dai volunteers to take the unconscious Kim Jun back to the city. What are going to read lollies? A thousand years ago, Ejdaha attacked the chasm. I tried to obstruct him, fighting him tooth and nail down the length and breadth of the mine. Finally, I brought him down and sealed him underground. During that battle, Dragonfall was born. Ejdaha could sense the stone. Subconsciously, he wanted to use it to find me. Despite being the victor, I could not claim to be stronger than he. And in his heart, he still retained an ounce of goodwill towards me. Towards Leo. Towards life above ground. He was willing to be sealed away. But as the erosion set in, he forgot. Even I cannot avoid it. But there is something I understand better than most. When the door opens, it is time to leave. The greater the power, the greater the danger erosion may bring about. The millennia may come and go, but even a stone may tire. Personally sealing away an old friend. This is just one form of erosion I have endured. People abandon and surrender the things they love to pursue the right path. Perhaps this is the erosion imposed on me by the heavenly principles. That I was a god of mankind. My identity may change, but my eyes will bear witness to the history of humanity. You still care a lot about Liyue. Call it... <sighs> part of my duty. I must thank you both. No worries! Oh? About what? So, not long ago, we met a guy called Dane. He told us about Conria and the punishment of the gods. That's when we realized that those events were connected to the person we're searching for. Xiang Li, you're a god. You've lived through thousands of years of history. Surely you experienced the incident? <sighs> Uh, I cannot say. Well. Why? <laughs> you can't even give us a thread of information? This is so important to us. I understand. But I must apologize. This is my contract. You huh? mean another past grievance? Like the incident with Ejda? Too painful to talk about? It was signed before it all began. I have always honored oh, the contract. What? And kept my silence. Uh, how can you be like that? You two are friends to me. I can assure it brings me no pleasure to disappoint you. But as the god of contracts, I cannot go back on my word. Would you be ready to find out? It appears your understanding of this world continues to grow. There are many events of ages past. Many secrets that lie hidden. They have been eroded by time. Forgotten by the people. Abandoned. But you are capable of finding them and bringing them into the light. Those who come to witness, will witness. Those who are born to remember, will remember. If you take the same road as that person, there may be more difficulties ahead. But as long as you firmly believe that you are on the right path, everything has meaning. Oh. 
No missed stone. Damn! For that. Oh, it's not for anything. Never mind. Um. Town. Wait. This. I shall go to this. That's down, right? That was true. Yeah. Skyward. Suck. These meatballs are not half bad. This is uh you better enjoy the food because that might be the last meal I got to cook here. Last meal you got to cook here? Who told you so? Oh no, 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 it's because of me. This innkeeper is fed up with you because you've been feeding me all this time. Seems a bit unfair given that I supplied the inn with some of my best catches free of charge. That should have covered at least part of my bill. Besides, the innkeeper isn't known for being a misser. Oh, I don't want to go to an I don't want this machine. I want these oriented machines. I don't like that. I don't want to do the ones where you. I don't want to switch and I want to do all these missions with, um, audio. <laughs> I swear, if they want to add audio, everyone would play this game. Bird egg and snapdragon? Uh, yeah.
Hydra? Drop! Right back. You're gonna get a Hydra. I need to be water, I guess. That was a while ago. With the elements. Mm, this flavor is so rich and fresh, but the mouthfulness resembles that of a tofu pudding. It looks quite presentable too, it requires truly exquisite workmanship in the premise. It's also catchy, a meat dish that imitates vegetarian cuisine. I'm sure many would like to try it for themselves. Not bad, not bad at all, and sure it would be to the innkeeper's taste. What a surprise! Turns out you're more compatible than I gave capable than I gave you the credit for. If you knew what a sponger like you could remember this recipe so well. Ha! Huh. I might as well tell you back in the day, I thought this recipe contained some sort of secret sword art. So I studied its So I studied it day and night without ceasing. Now that I think about it. I must have been an absolute madman. It was just a recipe. Why would there be anything about swordsmanship in it? Uh, to look for some, to look for someone to ask for justice. That's what it. Ha! Huh. That was a magnificent view. Then you, here you are, so speaking so softly about it. Ha! Huh. Well, once I'd drafted the justice. I came here, thankfully, the innkeeper was willing to take me in and let me know about the place. I am now free to desire. I no longer wish to wield my sword, nor do I have any other skills. <laughs> I suppose I'm staying here for the rest of my life, isn't that so? The rest of my life isn't so bad. Well now I should I should give a copy of this recipe so you can make it for yourself if you've had time. It's a little troublesome, but it tastes pretty good. Thank you. Hmm, well let's put this just aside. We can show the innkeeper once he gets here. After that Hey, hey! Mr. Lofa, don't go anywhere just yet. Come over here. Oh, what do you want? I don't have another recipe for you, just so you know. Come on, don't say that. You have you you didn't have any skills apart from wielding the sword. Well then draw that soul. 
draw that sword. I'm teaching you to chop meat. Chop meat? Well, I'm... I, well, I... I will... I'm afraid. You will get pretty... You'll get it pretty quickly. Chop meat today, make dish tomorrow. Learn yourself a few of those in there. You got a skill. What are you? Hmm, a few dishes under your belt. Yes, spare me the need to watch you scrap for food around here. That's for sure. Come on then. Don't drag your feet, you dilly dally. Show more. Now, some, you dilly dally some more and you can forget about having any meatballs to eat tomorrow. Wait, what? Come on. You can't just threaten me like that. All right, all right. I'll chop them. I'll chop them. Eat. I got any recipe as well. That was good. Survival that's good. Burn. What was that recipe recipe again? No idea. Uh this might have been. Does it use that and that? How do I get ham? How do I get ham? Can I make ham? I cannot make ham. Oh no. Wait. Oh, are you kidding me? Alright, now it's time for me to... I think it's this one. <laughs> Boss, uh, there's really no need for this. It's just a little burn, that's all. It won't get in the way of my work. I swear I had all the one. Perhaps not, but continuing to work will only hinder your recovery. You need to rest for a few days. We'll figure something out. Boyan! Yanchao! Oh? Traveler and Paimon! What brings you to this neck of the woods? And we decided Check out, um, check up on Yanchao. Uh, I knew we shouldn't have posted that notice. It's really nothing to worry about. I'm fine, I swear. How kind of you. My thanks to you both. And thanks on Yanchao's behalf, too. There's nothing to be embarrassed about, Yanchao. Just tell them what happened. Oh, all right. Well, basically, we had a lot of guests pouring in for the lantern rite. Things got busy, I started rushing, and I ended up accidentally burning my hand while plating a dish. Well, you know what they say. Play with fire long enough and you're bound to get burned. E even the best chefs slip up sometimes. A anyway, it's nothing, uh, just a tiny burn. I can still... Now, now, I don't want you pushing yourself. You'll only make it worse. And then you'll be looking at more than just a couple of days off to recover. But the Lantern Rite's only just finished. And we're still getting tons of guests. Now's not a good time for me to rest. B uh, plus, lots of the guests are visiting from other nations. We can't just bring in some random chef off the street. We have a reputation to uphold. I I refuse to let someone else ruin the good name uh, we've made for ourselves uh, here. <laughs> Listen to you. I'll be right Anyone back. Anyone would think that you're the boss and not me. I'm back. Well, 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 well. Come on, that's good. But he's not wrong. 
Yan Shao was one of the favorites in the Masterful Chefs Tournament. No matter how you look at it, his are big boots to fill. Oh, I don't okay. mean to boast, but any chef of my caliber probably has their own restaurant to look after. It's not going to be easy to find someone who's got the skills and has the time to help us out. Hmm. Looks like we might have to increase the pay we're offering even further. Hmm. Do we know anyone that's a good chef and has the time to help out? Oh, of course, you! Uh. Oh, right. Yes. Now I think about it. I do recall hearing good things about your cooking ability. I suppose I'd added you to my mental list of people who can hold their own in a combat situation, but forgot you can cook. What? Um, why are you even keeping a mental list of people who can fight? <laughs> Maybe a story for another time. More importantly, I'm sure Yan Shao would be comfortable leaving his kitchen in your hands, if anyone's. What do you think, Yan Shao? Well, since it's you, I suppose that's better than anyone else. Hey, I was definitely trying to ruin it. What do you think, Traveler? I hear Should we do it? Um. I should warn you that cooking for customers is quite a different ball game from cooking for yourself. So, I'll stick around the kitchen over the next few days to help smooth things over. Oh. So he's not leaving the kitchen after all? I believe there's some spare kitchenware here at the inn. Boss, uh, would you mind? Of course, of course. I'll take care of it. You building something? Whew. All done. Oh. Come, take a look. This was made with your measurements in mind. Ah, it's nothing. A little handicraft and elbow grease goes a long way. All right, Yan Shao. I'll leave you to take it from here. You really went to all the trouble of building a new stovetop? What was wrong with the original? Boy, you really hate when people touch your stuff, huh? No, no, it's nothing like that. As Boss always says, hire who you trust and trust who you hire. I just thought the original setup might be a little, um, tall for you. Ahem. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, cooking for guests is different from cooking for yourself. Not only do you have to execute on taste, aroma, and appearance, but you also need to ensure speed, precision, and consistency. Having the right equipment is a big part of that. Ill-suited equipment doesn't just make the job more tiring, it also slows you down. And paying customers don't have unlimited patience. Sometimes yeah. cooking is all about being well prepared. That's how you ensure speed. Okay, and what about precision and consistency? Wait, 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 wait. wait. When he says, um, it just says speed, it's a whole separate recording of dialogue. Ah, speed. Precision all comes down to using your eyes. Where to slice into a particular cut of meat, how much oil to use, how to tell when a dish is done cooking. When you cook for yourself, you can always add salt if it's too bland, or add water if it's too salty. You can tweak the taste as you go, but in a restaurant, there's not that much room for trial. Worst case scenario, Paimon can deal with any subpar dishes by making sure they get properly disposed of. <laughs> the final thing you have to focus on is consistency. You have to be able to handle the most challenging orders with the same level of technique and skill as the easiest ones. This is particularly important when you have guests from all over, each with their own tastes and preferences. You have to cater to their own dietary needs while also giving them the opportunity to enjoy our local delicacies. Uh, this last point is making Paimon's head spin. <laughs> Don't worry. Matter of fact, someone as well-traveled as you may even have a better handle on it than me once you get started. And, of course, I'll be around to help you over the next few days. I don't think we'll have any trouble making all our guests feel right at home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Let's start working. <laughs> slap my There's job. no time to lose, so let's get started. I imagine you probably have a good handle on the cooking side of things already. What you need to pay attention to is remembering each table's order. Try not to get them mixed up. Oh, Pinot's memory is like a steel trap. This is going to be a cinch. At the end of the day. Uh, what chicken are we on again? Table one was onions, but no chilies. Table two was chilies, but no onions. Ah! Was Paimon just sleep bloating? Ugh, we didn't even get a break in the middle. Paimon's brain has turned to mush. Is it always this busy here? Or is it that your brain is developing? No, I'm joking. this is I'm peak joking. season. You both did a mighty fine job for your first time serving guests at the inn. Luckily, all our customers were familiar faces this time around, so we didn't get any strange requests. Otherwise, today would have been even more challenging. No strange requests? Someone asked for almond tofu drizzled in soy sauce. Even Paimon has never tried that combination. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wide world out there. People have all kinds of different tastes. Being able to cater to all is the real essence of Liyue cuisine. Also, the thing about requests is that they're usually very specific. So as long as you do what they asked, you're unlikely to have any issues. What's really tricky is when guests give you free reign to do anything you want. Uh, uh, excuse me, are you still open by any chance? I remember that voice. <laughs> Paimon knows that voice. <gasps> Let's go check it out. Uh, what yes. should we do? It doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, if only we'd gotten here a bit sooner. No, no, no. Ask away. Um. Fermat is not a good speaker. Yeah, I got this character recently. It's not a good speaker, but people who are familiar with him. Know that his distant demeanor hides a pure soul. He does not enjoy the spotlight, the grace, reactions, and comments of others, risk running his breath ragged. As an exceptional diver, he is more used to hiding in your silent seabed, pouring his soul out to, and sharing it, sharing more with the Room time flowers that the weightless world, unlike other divers, is intricate, does not accept external permissions. He belongs only to the hotel of the world who is dead and to his precious family members who live there. Yeah. How, why did you. What? You're. Yeah, I it's have alright. Oh, you're late. If we you're start building a campfire it. now, we'll be eating before too long. I don't have it. Why did your name color change? Lenny! <laughs> With his surprising talent, this eminent magician has created a truly amazing magic show that has fixed all of Frontoni's attention on him. His usual cheerful wearing of confidence, of, on a confident smile on his face, regardless of who he is speaking with. His he is composed and assured with a tendency to interweave magic tricks into conversation, delighting all those he deals with, only those closest to him know that. This image he has created for others is really just a part of the extreme magic show. Right. Besides, if anyone's to blame, it's Linny. So busy being a greedy culture vulture that he lost track of time. Wait a minute.
<laughs> Sorry about that. Lenny's twin sister, a quiet and gentle girl known throughout Fontaine as the great magician Miss Lenny's assistant. On stage, she is focused and alert, while off stage, her persona is shy and reserved, rarely revealing her expression. She uses standby mode as an excuse to avoid unnecessary social interactions. Ah, oh, wait! Only her valued family members can see past the mysterious fun she puts up to disguise her true feelings. Hey, Lynette! Paimon? So, is the Traveler here? Yes, I am here. <laughs> oh! Traveler, what? Paimon! What a nice surprise! Okay, okay, um... To me... So... You're... Here, yeah, I'll just take a photo of that and... Of it, if that's okay. Take a photo of it and send it to you real quick. Oh, no, she's the good chat. Show it expensive right now. How are they, bro? Um, I'd like to make a photo? Yeah. There you go, it's sent to you. Um... Oh, what the... Um... Never mind, never mind, never mind. My, my brain is not computing stuff. Hand at the end. Anyway, so that's how we ended up here. But what about you guys? Don't tell us. Uh, father sent you on another mission. Huh? Wait. I haven't got to the the Fontaine quest. You shouldn't know this. We shouldn't know this. Why? No, quite the opposite, actually. We're in Liyue on vacation. And while we're here, I thought a cultural tour might be in order. Uh, uh, father said we deserve some rest after everything that happened recently. Otherwise, it could jeopardize our next mission. It's not every day we get this kind of opportunity. Lenny thought it might be fun to spend some time in Liyue, especially since it's lantern rite season. We could hardly pass up the opportunity to watch a Liyue-style magic show. Although, I think they call it Conjuring here. Uh, in our time here, we've seen Conjuring tricks incorporated into a Liyue opera show, and even a Wushu dance. It was amazing. So, we decided to stay here for a few more days to see what other forms of inspiration this land might have in store for us. We visited Granny Roshin in Chingsa Village not long ago, and today we continued our cultural tour in the area around here. In the end, though, we lost track of time. We haven't even eaten anything yet. She's mad. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of eating... As you know, seafood is a big part of both Liyue and Fontaine cuisine, but it's cooked very differently here. We simply had to try some local seafood after coming all this way. That's another reason why we decided to extend our trip. Oh, need any recommendations? What have you tried so far? That fish one with the misleading name. Sounds bland, but it's drowning in hot chilies. Uh... Oh, you mean black back perch soup? You're right, the name doesn't give much away. 
Yeah, I can be shot. <laughs> it looked and smelled so appetizing that Lynette took a huge mouthful. Blissfully Hello. unaware that she was about to set her mouth on fire. She could barely speak for the rest of the day after that. Okay. Yes, I can still read it. I got my monitor working somewhere about 50 minutes ago. It's working now. Let's see, chat. Kind of. I can definitely tell the color change between the name. Uh... And I actually have my phone instead of like near on the, like, the left side where my face is like, facing while doing um, the gaming. I have the phone closer to me, like, like right in front of where I'm sitting, so I can see when a message comes in. And yeah. So it's just, I can read it. Like, when it comes in, when it comes out, and everything like that. Uh, luckily, that wasn't a huge adjustment for her. <laughs> that was different. What? Aren't you guys hungry too? Uh, yes, a little. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm ready to eat. Traveler, I'm afraid we'll have to send you back to the kitchen now. <laughs> yeah, well, hmm. you like. Good question. I doubt we'll be able to decipher the menu, so why don't you recommend something? You should be pretty familiar with our tastes. Uh... Uh, one more thing. Please, if you have a heart, don't make it spicy. I want to make it spicy. Uh, Wait. I'm going to go to Fontaine and get some resources. <laughs> Fontaine, huh? No wonder they can't handle too much spice. Still, if we make the food too bland, they might as well be eating back home. Hmm. There's this crab and shrimp stir-fry I know that could work. It's quite heavily seasoned, but it's a lot milder than it looks. It has a light but really satisfying flavor. Ooh, that sounds perfect! What's it called? <laughs> well, this is where it gets interesting. They call it the Palace Jewels. The crab roe is uh. supposed to look like pearls of gold, and the shrimp meat like chunks of jade. Here's the recipe. When you're ready, go ahead and give it a try. I think I already have it. In each challenge of receiver of friend from afar, you must continuously prep, mix, and cook to make a dish that the guests won't. Um. After you begin prepping, the indicator on the slider will move back and forth between each end. The indicator points to the corresponding area. Click on the bottom to mark one instance of success. After you begin mixing, hold the button to make the indicator bar move over the sliding ring. When the indicator bar points to the prompted area, release the button to mark one instance of success. After you begin cooking, the indicator on the slider will move back and forth between each end. The indicator points to the corresponding area and click on the button to mark one instance of... Oh. ...of its success. After cooking, once cooking is complete, you can play and decorate the dish. Three elements of dishes can be decorated. The tableware, accessories, and add-ons. Each element has several decorations to choose from. 
So, look at this. Everything is paused. Paimon's still glowing. Okay, we need a focus. Bronze man. Whatever that is, I do have that. I definitely have that. So I can also click space, it says. Wait, so after holding a release at the right moment to links. Yay. This seems easy now. This is the right moment. Go. Ooh. String gradient should. Accessory flourishing pedal. Silence. Hmm. <laughs> um. Ah, yes. We meant to say, you two must be tired after a long day of work. Do you want to eat with us? Oh. Now that you mention it, Paimon is a little hungry. Well, if you insist, then who are we to refuse? <laughs> I swear, Paimon's getting bigger. Oh, right! Of course, you're still our like, customer. Like, taller. Uh, why aren't you eating? The sauce looks a little overpowering. Oh, uh, according to Liu at custom, it's probably good table manners to let someone else go first. Oh. Um. <clears throat> looks delicious, traveler. I guess I'll dig in first. Here goes. What is it? Do you need some water? No. It's delicious. The flavor is so 
pure. It's drenched in sauce, but somehow it just enhances the natural flavor of the seafood. T try it for yourselves. Um, uh, all right. Mmm. Hmm. <laughs> what is that? Crab rope? Yep, you have quite the palate with it. No wonder it pairs so well with the shrimp meat. I've never seen it prepared this way before. According to the creator, chewy crab, compliment succulent shrimp, making a spectacular seafood ensemble with a succulent flavor and luscious mouthfeel. The crab roe glitters like pearls of gold, and the shrimp shines like chunks of jade. Hence its name, the palace jewels. So that's where the name comes from. <laughs> I suppose it's quite fitting then. Huh. Was Paimon always this well spoken? This dish must be right up your alley, Lynette. <laughs> huh? Uh, it's half gone already? When did that happen? I heard that in Liyue. The biggest compliment you can pay to the chef is to leave a clean plate. It's delicious. Thank you ever so much. Wait, don't fight over it! Hey, leave some for Paimon! <laughs> oh, that stream is so funny. No, 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 no. I need to speak to three people first. First, Lenny. Lynette's not usually so forthcoming about what she likes. But this time, well, she's expressed it in more ways than one. I guess you've rubbed off on her, too. <laughs> or maybe your cooking is simply too delicious to resist. The next time our paths cross in Fontaine, you'll have to fire up your cooking skills for my other siblings as well. How does that sound, oh great master chef? Oh yeah? <laughs> well then, I'll have to clear my schedule. Yeah, clear it seven years ahead. I think I'm finally getting the hang of chopsticks. Uh, yeah, well, Linny and Lynette picked it up in no time, but they're naturally dexterous. Unlike me, it's taken me a lot longer, but I'm slowly getting there. Oh, uh, speaking of chopsticks, in one of the shows we've seen here, someone performed a conjuring trick using a bowl and chopsticks. So, if I want to be a good magician's assistant, I need to keep practicing. To be honest, this guy's suit is... I want it. Like, I can't. I can get it custom made. Hold up. Like, I really want to get his suit custom made for me. Because I know suits can be one for us. Yay, Lynette! Calorie surplus detected. Digestion mode engaged. Yeah. Well, Lenny and I are usually careful about what we eat because we have to stay in performance shape. That, plus, it's generally bad manners to overindulge at the dinner table. But. Once in a while, it's nice to treat yourself in the company of family. Besides, if I'd waited until my brothers were finished trying to outpolite each other, the food would have gone cold. <laughs> okay, okay. That's just like with me. You will never be able to outpolite me, especially when it comes to even the door. Like. Like me? You tell me to go through the door first, I will quite literally decline as much as I can. And we will stand there for hours. So your friends like the dish, Done huh? it before. Well done. Not bad at all for your first day on the job. There'll be more to come, so keep it up. More friends to see. Didn't I already have that? Well, I'm kidding, 
I didn't. What? Huh? Why? Was it only? You have to be kidding. Oh, I'm gonna be mad. I'm mad. I'm annoyed. Chapter. F I'm on. F I'm far mad. Just a couple of chapters. Sixteen quests. Bro. Okay, since now we've done that. Man, I shall be going to the cavern because I want to complete it. No, not some marriages, but. Thoughts to share. Hold up. Where are you? Yes. Ooh. This part's open. Yeah. Skyward. Scatter. Quest you need to do or something to get over here? Like, bro, Baimon, what are you doing? Could I s Skyward! How about we explore the area ahead of us later? No, 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 no. <laughs> bro. Thoughts to share. Meanwhile, you're staring at this guy for like hours on it. This realm offers pleasing scenery, a state of quietude, and ec were you perchance inspired by one's own abode? Oh, most appealing. One does have a formidable aptitude for conversation. However, one is currently preoccupied with a technical conundrum of great importance. We may need to postpone any idle colloquy for later. One once developed a supreme housekeeping machine to perform domestic chores such as sweeping and tidying. To enhance its functionality, one added a sound response module so that it could be operated with voice commands. However, the module is flawed. For instance, if one is too far away from the machine, it cannot detect the audio signal, and thus cannot be remotely operated. <sighs> Do you have any suggestions on how to resolve this problem? Hmm, a viable solution, technically speaking, although a little inelegant. However, yes, 
Your suggestion has pointed out towards yet another solution. One simply needs to fashion a sound amplification machine. A microphone. With just a little yes. adeptal energy, such a device could amplify sounds from hundreds of miles away, then pass the relevant commands to other audio-activated mechanisms. One shall have full command over one's contraptions without the need to move a muscle. Glorious. Uh, very well. We may consider this conundrum resolved. Now back to our conversation. When you said that you wanted to have a chat, did you mean that you would like for one to tell you a story? Oh, you are a good child. Yes, with some fine tea to soothe the throat, one shall be able to talk far more fluidly. Nevertheless, <clears throat> one ought to refrain from sharing certain stories with you until having sought permission from some old friends. The girls, whom you already know quite well, for instance, uh, to utter but a word about their childhoods is to hazard their faces scrunching up as if they had bitten into a sour lemon. <sighs> Truly, one is most at ease when speaking with you. Still, you have spoken little of the things you and Paimon have experienced in the past. Hmm. The ruse is quite unnecessary. If there are things you do not wish to speak of, so be it. One shall inquire no further. Go. We may pick up this conversation again when you feel more comfortable telling your story. Whatever you share, one vows to never tell a soul. Can I? This realm, were you perchance... Good morning. I see you are a fellow early riser. Is this because a hero's work never ends? Or are you simply hungry for breakfast? In either case, be sure to wrap up warm. We don't want you catching a cold. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna take that line. This I'm gonna take that offers line. pleasing scenery. A state of quiet. Were you perchance... Good morning. I see you are a fellow early riser. Is this because a hero's work never ends? Or are you simply hungry? Thanks. <laughs> Hold us. I am so much refraining from laughing. So much. A friend keeps sending me good news. I know I can view them, but still. It's, it's the most funny memes I haven't seen in a while. I'll laugh later. Maybe. If you Bye. ever have it. We are. This is Right. Down. Yeah. Skyward. Got her. This. Yeah. What's yeah. up, my guy? Oh. I need to change the element, I need to change I need to change my MC's element to either Geo or um Hold up, hold up, hold up Hold up Hold up
open. Phew, thank you for saving my life. Wait a minute, I remember you. You're the Tiplo guy from back to the mine. Wait, what? I didn't sell any fake medicine. Some Tiplo, yes. But I'm not the one who's into paracetamol. No, sir. No, impossible. The medicines I sell are 100% real. Do it. Ah. Oh, I built my ball for Yes, the truly despicable. Yeah, it's a real piece of work to want to trick those into the same business. Hello? What a shame. You really confess without us having to try too hard. Let's take him back to the middle of the a lot of questions to plan. Take my medication and get to No, did I? I'm not sure. <laughs> what? There's more? Well, obviously, there's more. It's good. Is it down there? Is, it, is that one up? Oh, no, it's down. So that means it's. I had a sh when did I get a shield? Hold up. Not to lift this jade. Such a
There's a crystal <laughs> behind here. What the heck? Probably need to heal one of my characters right about now. Central of the war plant. for parts. Uh, there's another one? Oh, uh, how do you even... What mission is this? None? Things come to those who wait.
Wait. Oh, no. So I have to use this thing over here. But how? Looks dope. The statue. I don't know this statue. What is this floor like? What? Why don't you hear me? I am so confused. Yeah. I am so, 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 so confused. Ooh. Go down the round. 
Some certain things that he got rid of these. Does this thing call it like twenty ten? I have no idea. Where's the checkpoint, by the way? Oh, there's another blue point as well, right there. I don't know where the thing to where the meat is. Wait, do I hit it? These could be salvaged for parts. Yeah! Skyward! Scatter! <laughs> Skyward! Scatter! That's Our bond is strong! I can scare them up!
course we did. Then now you all. Hello, little guy. I'm gonna pull you up because there are a lot here pulling behind this wall or down. Yes, Don't know what I need lots of loot this great for, but it's we get it. So... Okay. I want to understand how we can see this viewer. Like, are they? How do I get rid of them? How do I use them? How do I interact with them? Like, right, just, oh, boom. Why does it jump me up here? Dude? Drop. 
Find some different photos from here. I'm not. I'm not trying to kill them with hands. This. Fire? Oh, arrow. Peace prevails throughout the land, and all things are made new, as buds in the spring. This is an auspicious era for humanity.
One should invent some form of curial discernment mechanism. It's long. Oh, we need a key. We need a bell. Open. Safe house key number one and two. Oh, you got it. You got it. Do I need to physically search around for... Not only is the crystal. Oh, 
Uh, you gotta be kidding me. Gonna, we're gonna get a good plus in one shot. Oh, wait. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kinda know that person. That person looks familiar. to that guy kind of it does oh uh. 
I don't know about the treasure holders, but ooh, yeah. it looks like we're going to be fighting that boss next episode. Yes, next episode. I will leave it here because I know this boss will take a long time. And I also know none of these missions that I will come forth and ahead. All of, the, all of these missions will not take a quick amount of time. Probably one of these. Oh, definitely not one of this spot. Or like... Like... None of these. Not even these. Maybe that one. Not the full mission, but still. Well, take a while. And this year will take a lot longer. Uh, we are going... We are! going to be battling this guy next episode. First thing, next episode. Not last thing, not next thing, not after dailies. This will be the first thing we fight. Right. And because it will be the first thing we fight, I shall have my characters up to 400 HP. So, thank you all so much for watching. I know this is a little bit shorter than two hours. But, it will be worth it, because next episode will be quite a longer episode, hopefully, if I'm not too tired. Um, so yes, thank you for the, pe for the people on Twitch, thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope to see you all here tomorrow, so you, you can both experience this for the first time. I've seen it, but I have not battled it. So, I hope to see you all here tomorrow. So we can really go on this journey together. <laughs> so, to the people on Twitch, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. And for the people on YouTube, watching this back on YouTube, on the right here shall be my latest video, on the left here shall be my first video of this series. On the center here shall be a subscribe button. I hope all of y'all enjoyed this video. If you, uh, if you want to see more videos like this one, click that like button, uh, click that subscribe button and like button in the way out. And if you want to see more videos like this one, click that bell notification as well. Bye-bye.